Hello and welcome back. What I'd like to talk about right now is something that I've labelled on this recording as life. Now when I was in Canada I attended a program and I can't for the life of me remember what the name of that program was. But it was a, a very powerful program that left me with one reminder. And that reminder was that whatever happens to us in, in our lives, let's call that the 10%. In other words, we may perhaps get knocked down or knocked off our course or stopping us from getting us where we want to get to. So that's the 10%. But the 90% of our life is what we do with what happens to us. And that's the bit where we get knocked down but we get back up again and we do something about it. And more often than not, I want you to be aware as to the stories, because they are all stories, that you are telling not only yourself but other people, where you do not play either the warrior, as in the enlightened warrior, or the hero or the heroine. So in other words, where in your life do you share with somebody the kind of mundane, um, not so much boring, but stuff, events where you've been injured and you've come out a loser or you've come out um, almost like a, a poor me type character where you're looking for some sort of sympathy from another person. I just want you to be aware of that because if it's true about the law of polarity there's obviously another side to it where sure you got knocked down, somebody took you off your course or you yourself because remember you're 50% responsible for all relationships with other people that you have but you got taken out. But the exciting thing was, is what, what you did with that information. Now for a lot of us, unfortunately, we perhaps get taken out and that's it. I mean, a lot of us don't even realise when we are on the front line where the end goal is. And we actually get taken out before we get there. So just look at your life and what I'm asking you to do, again, it's always an invite for you to look at the, the times from now forward, obviously you cannot change the past, there's zero power there, where you allowed yourself, because then obviously you're conditioning or programming, to be taken out, not being able to stand on your own two feet. Now, it may well be that although you've set out to get to a certain point, you don't get there because of blah, blah, blah. However, you are constantly learning more about yourself. And if something did occur, to you that you didn't like, there's obviously that opportunity, remember with every challenge in our life there are no problems, there are only challenges and with that challenge then there is an opportunity to change your direction or to do something else to get to where you wanted to go. So 10% of life is what happens to you, you get knocked down, but 90% is what you do with what happens to you, you get back up again. Yeah. So as an example, let's supposing that you were trying to find balance on this ball, and there's many things that you can do on this ball, and let's say for sake of argument, you were trying to learn how to stand on it, and let's say for sake of argument that while you were doing this, you actually fell off the ball. Okay. Now for some people, as a simple example, if you fell off the ball, you would then be taken out. You're not going to do it again. An example, when I ran a health studio, I used to invite women on the program to actually find their proprioception, their balance, their awareness in space. To be able to actually just to roll onto the ball. And it's a great sense of achievement. I remember one lady, her name was Cynthia. And she was such an ambassador for my business because she inspired other ladies to give it a go. But she actually learned to stand on the ball. Now that wasn't my context to get all women to do that or anyone who came in my studio, but for her specifically, it was a great sense of achievement. She felt great just initially finding the balance and then from then to get further up. But I'll tell you now, when she then went over, she went abroad and she wanted to show to her friends because she lost about three stone in weight over the four or five months that she was with me. And when she landed on, um, went on holiday and her sister hadn't seen her for a long period of time, she just couldn't believe her transformation. And the point I'm making here is that she actually showed her on the ball when she went to this gym over in um, somewhere over in the east and she <laughs> she actually fell off and injured herself and then she laughed and she said well that's not how to do it but then later on she showed her what she could do but a lot of people when they find or try to find balance on a ball just as a simple example 
once they actually fall off the ball, that's it, they're out. There's no way, again, are they going to find balance on this ball because they obviously injured or hurt themselves. But it's for you to have a look in your life where you, you're not playing the hero, you're not playing the, the warrior, you're taken off your course, and then you start sharing that negative, poor me story with another person and it's like reliving that negative event which has no power yeah so where in your life can you immediately take control and look at it from another situation and go well what did I learn from this what am I going to do differently how can I do this to empower myself and those around me those are smarter questions and there are many others but it's for you to find your inner self of ultimately again with the purpose one that the tenth habit with an open loving heart, leaving a legacy behind. Play the hero. What can you do? Because really people aren't... And again, if you're playing that negative story, you'll attract negative people in your life. And if you want to attract inspiring people to take you to another level, then please look at yourself, look at your life and say, OK, what can I do different now to improve this situation? This is what's occurred to me, but ask this. Yeah? Always ask smarter questions and take control. Thank you very much for listening. I hope there was something in there for you. I know that some of you are saying, oh, he's just doing this to show off. You know what? As I've said before, in any one moment, I'm here to impress myself. Give myself a pat. I'm not here to impress you. And all you're now projecting onto me is that if you were able to stand on a ball and then record it and show it on YouTube, you too would be showing off. Well, thank you very much. Again, that's about you. I personally don't believe that's what I'm doing. And I even had people at my studio, they say, oh, he's showing off. And that, okay, thank you very much. That's about them. They've just given me an insight into themselves. The reason I showed you is where I could have got on that ball and actually fallen off, but you know what? I would have got back up again. And if I fell off, I'd get back up again. So have a look at your own life and continue. But play the hero. Thank you very much for listening. Enjoy your day. My love to you all. Bye-bye.